Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. Happy Resurrection Sunday, guys. Happy Easter, whatever you call it, guys. Happy, happy Sunday to each and every one of you. I hope you all are having an amazing day, guys. I'm having a great day. It's 9.20 a.m. and I am stocked and loaded, guys, ready to hit the streets for this, this last day for Easter, guys. I want you to let me know in the comments if you are watching and you are a gift basket designer, guys. How has your sales been? Are you out for today or did you just go with what you sold yesterday and you calling it quits? Well, y'all know Boss Lady Fee, baby. She be bossing it up. She be out here hustling in these streets. So that's what I'm on my way to do today, guys. As of yesterday, I had like 20... 20-ish baskets left. I don't know the exact number, but I know it was 20, a little bit over 20, maybe 22 or something like that. And um, I had ran out of boys' gifts and I had ran out of adult gifts. Now, mind you, I've sold basically everything that was left. And the other day I said left from Mother's Day, but I meant to say left from Valentine's Day. I've been putting out all of the women baskets that I had left from Mother's Day, from Valentine's Day. And um, all except for the, I think I had like three really large ones. Of course, I didn't bring those out because I have not gotten a U-Haul for, I did not get a U-Haul for Easter. So it was gonna be too much trying to travel all of them along with my other baskets. So I believe if I could have put those other three out that I would have sold them as well. But no worries, baby, because we're going to have a U-Haul for Mother's Day. That's no if, ands, or buts about that, okay? We're going to have those, and we're going we're gonna to have a U-Haul, and we're going to put those baskets in there along with all of our other Mother's Day baskets, guys. But I want y'all to know that I've done really, really well on my sales. I do not know the exact um, count that I had because I had Easter baskets and I also had leftover men um, and women baskets from Valentine's. I also had a couple of children baskets left from um, Valentine's Day and I've sold those as well. So I've sold what I made for Easter pretty much and those included with the addition of the 20 some that I had left, okay? Um, so being that, listen, let me tell y'all something. What was the main major request, which was weird. That's why I always teach that you can never go by what happened last year because it's never the same. Now, last year, I do remember that there was a large request for boys' baskets, okay? Um, most of the time, people probably think girls' baskets. Well, that's what it seemed like it had been in years prior but for some reason last year it seemed like they were asking for a lot of boys gifts um well this year i was getting a lot of requests for boys gifts and i also was getting a lot of requests for adult women gifts okay now i i teach you guys have adult women gifts but y'all listen it was such a demand for women gifts i'm like are these folk buying for mother's day or what are they doing but there were several people that came up saying they were going to birthday parties they just wanted to give their mom something for easter so it was a large demand for that so i went in my um craft room to see what else i had already made up and this morning and last night i made up about eight more gifts so in total, I probably have a little over 30 gifts this morning. So we're going out here to see what we can make happen, guys. Hey, I may sell them all. I may sell four, five, six, ten. I don't know. But whatever I sell, I'm out here in these streets making it happen, guys, because I have people that are going to church. I always sell, whether it's Mother's Day or Easter. Make sure on Mother's Day now. I know a lot of people like to celebrate Mother's Day, and God bless it. For those of you that do, and my truck sounding crazy this morning, God bless it for those of you that do. Um, of course, I honor and celebrate my mom, but my mom know what type of work I do. So when you are a full-time entrepreneur, baby, you can make any day, every day a holiday, okay? I don't get into the traditions of men. I know that this day is set aside for Resurrection Day, even though this is not the day that Jesus was resurrected because they've changed it 500,000 times on the calendar. But we ain't going to get into that. That's a whole nother video. Um, but... Um, I don't get, you know, I'm not one of those ones where if something is not celebrated or something on that day, I get bent all out of shape. Okay. This is the type of work I do. And being that it's not an everyday thing, then I, when the money flowing, I'm flowing. Okay. Wherever the money reside, that's where I reside. 
And so my family understand that, but I would, it would behoove you if you can at least on Easter to get out here. I'm not Easter, Mother's Day on that Sunday because I sell a lot on actual Mother's Day, okay? So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get off this clip and go ahead and get set up for the day. I got my two bags and y'all can guess what's in one and I got my change in the other, okay? So anyway, guys, we getting on out here and we making it do what it do. If you are out here, my prayer is that you have a successful selling day, guys, and get out here and hustle, baby, and hustle hard. Okay, y'all, so I am back for another clip to give you guys an update of what's going on. So I've been out here since I made the first clip. I've been out here probably about three hours and I've sold probably about 10 baskets um, so I've done really well thus far with just getting out on Easter morning, which is why I tell you guys to make sure that you get out on these holidays if you are able, okay? I know some people have family um, functions, they have church and different things like that. But if you're able to get out here or find somebody that's able to get out there for you, um, the day of the holiday sometimes is the greatest day um, to sell your baskets. So the thing I wanted to bring y'all the update on the thing that I'm selling the most of, and I only have like two left, is women baskets. Like, and that's a gardening basket. And y'all know that many women don't garden, okay? That's something I would like, but most women don't garden. Um, but I had got that for like middle age, older women, but everybody that come up here to look at it be like, mm, she don't garden, okay? So um, I only have like, the garden basket and like three little small like a couple of mugs and a little small gift i'm like i should have just went on and brought my other couple of really really large baskets out here because i think i really could have sold them because everybody that's been coming up here minus maybe two people have been coming up here asking for baskets for their wife so that's why i tell you guys each year the demand change and each year different things change sometimes you can kind of base things off of last year but for the most part no um the thing that i can base this year off of last year was that more people were asking for boys baskets that's what happened last year and i did sell women baskets last year but not like this like this year it's like everybody been coming up asking for women baskets so even I have to be more prepared next year just in case it's the same thing. It may not be, but then again, it may be. And um, one gentleman was saying that um, he buy, he's buying his wife something because he buy his kids stuff all year round. So he wanted to buy his wife something. So that's something to think about or something to consider. But if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready, okay? Which is what I teach all the time, have a great supply of each. It's just that my supply um, was a little bit lesser than the the man okay so I, I was prepared i thought but really not okay so keep all these th these things in mind when you are designing for mother's day coming up and we will begin to discuss mother's day next week of course y'all know we take a couple days and we get right back into the swing of things so we will be discussing um great ideas and tips for mother's day selling you know i teach you guys how to design but my niche of why i'm on youtube is to teach you how to get money so i teach you what i do as i do it but i also teach you guys different tips and strategies and plans to help boss up in your finances so we will definitely be starting to talk about that next week um some things to implement some things to think about when you're out on the street selling because street selling is totally different from any other type of selling that you may be doing, whether it's online, whether it's in a store or a boutique um, on the streets is definitely a different, different type of setting and it's definitely a, a game changer. So if you don't sell on the streets, my question is, boo, what are you waiting on? Okay, if you wanna change the financial bracket, you wanna change your financial outcome, then you definitely need to hit the streets when it comes to selling, okay? Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off this video. I will give you guys a further update later tonight to let you know what my conclusion is. I'm going to be out here for like two and a half more hours, and then I have some time that I'm going to go spend with my family. So I will give you guys a final update either later tonight or tomorrow, okay? Meanwhile, y'all know what I'm going to say. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all. And fills your bag. Bosses, bosses, get 
your money, honey. And feel your bag.